Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this video, we will be practicing some very basic skills, and I will explain some mistakes that are commonly made when performing these operations in Rhino. This exercise number 35 comes from the level 1 Rhino training manual found on rhino3d.com. To start this exercise, I will open up the filletx.3dm file. The exercise wants us to perform a fillet and chamfer. Pause this video now and see if you can do it on your own. Were you able to get it? To create a fillet, go to the top menu and select Curve Fillet Curves. I will set my radius to 0.5 and then select the two lines I would like to fillet. Creating a chamfer is very similar. From the top menu, select Curve Chamfer Curves. Enter 0.5, 0.5 into the command bar to set the first and second distance. If you did not have join selected when you performed these operations, then you will have to join all of your curves before you can extrude the drawing into a solid form. This we went over in detail in the last tutorial. Select all curves by going to the top menu and click Edit, Select Objects, Curves. To join all of these curves, type Join into the command bar with all of your curves selected. To extrude this drawing again, go to the top menu and select Solid Extrude Planar Curve Straight. After we have extruded our drawing, we will fill it all along the edge of the top face. Do this by going to the top menu and selecting Solid Fillet Edge Fillet Edge. Then select all of the curves that make up the border of the face. You will want to set the radius of your fillet first. If you do not, you will be stuck with whatever fillet dimension you last used. And in some cases that will be an impossible dimension. For instance, a one inch fillet will not work on this model because of the existing dimensions. So if you do something impossible, this is what that would look like. I will perform the operation again, this time making sure to have my radius set to 0.25 before selecting the edge. And that is all for exercise 35. In the next video, we will combine exercises 36 through 42 and learn the essentials of copying, moving, undoing, mirroring, and etc. I hope you have found this video to be helpful. Please feel free to leave a like, check out my other videos, and subscribe.